You know, it is completely fair to say that after June 10th, everything will be different. A completely new version of iOS with a new design, the next advancements in Vision OS, a lot of stuff coming, and a giant focus on AI as Apple tries to catch up with, well, everyone else. We know generally what Apple is going to announce. It is WWDC after all, it's all about software, iOS 18, Mac OS 15, but that's where what we know ends and what we expect begins. 2024 is about to be an extremely formative year for a lot of companies, but especially Apple, and it's because of those two letters, AI. Now, despite how behind you might think Apple is in terms of AI, it's kind of in everything Apple does. Apple has been incorporating it across most of their software. They've just been doing it selectively. It's in the Photos app, the Messages app, the keyboard, the everything. In fact, already, like right now, you could try this right now. If your friend sends you a photo in iMessage and you are wearing AirPods, your phone is in your pocket, Siri will read out what she sees in the photo. It will describe the photo to you straight to your ear holes. And that's not even going over what the neural engine itself does when you take a photo, like when your phone processes the photo. The amount of computational technology there is nuts. The groundwork is all there. They've been planting these tiny little seeds everywhere, but now, this year, it's all about generative AI, and that is a whole, whole different beast. Chat GPT, Google Gemini, even entire hardware accessories built around AI exist now. And it's time for Apple to take the shackles off of their devices and just give us the full AI beast. Bloomberg's very own Marcus Gramontis has said that iOS 18 is set to be relatively groundbreaking and filled with major new features and designs that should mostly be focused around AI. One of the areas that is particularly interesting to me is, well, something that has historically been awful, like actually terrible, Siri. This could be the year where Siri as an assistant goes from absolutely useless to absolutely powerful. We're hearing that Siri is set to be completely overhauled with a bunch of improvements, some of which include large language models that should bring natural conversation capabilities to you and give you even more customization over your assistant. Now let's just hope that this is all included in iOS and they don't charge you extra for it. Looking at you. Sammy. Speaking of iOS, another major change completely free of AI would have to be iOS 18's upcoming RCS support. If for some reason you're living under a rock, uh, not that one, RCS will make messaging non-iPhones a wildly better experience for them and for you. No longer will the videos that come from your Android friends come to your phone in a total of like four pixels or whatever it is, photos, videos will be much higher quality and you'll get a bunch of extra stuff like maybe some typing indicators and read, read, read what's needs. Hello? Oh, hi, hello. Uh, how do I know? Okay, here's a big one for you nerds. iOS 18 is also going to have some further customization options that... A lot of you have been asking for, for so many moons. Things that should have been there since forever, like the ability to create and move blank spaces on the home screens, and just have more control over them overall. Insider sources have also said that this should be the most significant update to the iOS home screen in ever, and they've compared it to the lock screen changes that Apple implemented in iOS 16. Okay, still so much to talk about and go over, but first we have to go over today's sponsor. <laughs> I'll be right back. Guys, one of my favorite sponsors is back. Our friends over at Paperlike are back with Paperlike 2.1, a new material that allows for the most accurate distribution of NanoDots technology yet. This is the secret sauce that makes writing on your iPad feel just like paper. 2.1 is more durable than ever, feels better than ever, and provides more clarity than ever. But also, can we be honest? It just looks better too. The matte finish on the iPad display is chef's kiss. I don't care if you have an iPad Pro, iPad Air, or iPad regular, or even the best iPad, the iPad mini. Paper-like screen protectors are literally just a click away. Down in the description, you'll find a very special link, paperlike.com slash FPT, so grab your own right now. Okay, instead of going through every little software update that's happening, like what Apple TV is getting and stuff like that, how about we talk about something that I actually care about? 
which is Apple Vision Pro. Have you seen my Vision Pro review? It's literally the only Vision Pro review you will ever need. I'm not being cocky, it's just the truth. Link to that is down in the description. It'll change your life. Guarantee you've never seen a tech review like it. Don't believe me? How about this, what seems like a very reluctant comment from the man himself? Okay, but for real, uh, let's talk about Vision OS. In the latest Vision OS update that's already available, Persona's got an update and now they're spatial. Like you can see people in your room. It's crazy. And that happened before WWDC. What does the updated Dub Dub have in it? The hardware of these devices, like Vision Pro, are like the engines of cars. No matter how powerful a sick, nasty muscle car is, if it drives like a wheelbarrow full of cow sh no one is gonna buy it. Vision OS 2.0 is probably gonna come at us hard and fast. As is with all hardware, software is king. It's the software that all of these devices will live and die by. So I expect a lot of changes to happen very rapidly, starting with Vision OS 2.0. Even more fascinating is that well, it seems like leaks are very a lot <laughs> right now. There are leaks on the iPhone 16. We have known what that thing is going to look like for like a long time. Secrets are hard to keep these days. Have you noticed we haven't heard much about what's coming to the next version of Vision OS? I'm talking other than just straight up improvements to what already exists. Let's look back at past products. Think about how fast Apple added to iOS after the initial iPhone announcement. The same thing for Apple Watch. Think about how rapidly software on Apple Watch advanced. First of all, give us dark mode in Vision OS. Why it didn't launch with that is beyond me, but it should be a crime. Tim Cook is a criminal. I haven't figured out exactly what the solution is or should be, but can we fix typing on Vision Pro? Can we make it less not great? I also want Apple Theater mode to work for all apps that have content to watch, or else. User profiles are a necessity. $4,000 for this thing and it only works for one user? Oh, and Apple, my iPhone needs to unlock when looking at it through Vision Pro. Absolutely ridiculous. My phone should just know that I have Vision Pro on. Obviously, it's not going to be able to see my face, but I'm logged into both devices. Just unlock my phone anyway. What's wrong with you? Oh, and this might not exactly have anything to do with Vision Pro, um, <clears throat> but can I have season two of Severance, please? I'm not asking for a lot here. Who knows? Maybe WWDC will be the time where they finally give us that killer app for Vision Pro that everyone has been clamoring for. Even though we all know it's actually just pretending to be Luke Skywalker while watching Star Wars movies. This year, Dub Dub is going to be huge. I can just feel it. Sort of all across the board, but especially when it comes to AI and Apple. They're cooking up something super strong, I can feel it. Critics have been surprised that Apple appears to be falling behind when it comes to AI. How do you respond? I don't, I don't believe we are. Not too worried. Not too worried. <laughs>